In this video, we're going to cover isotopes. To define an isotope, we first need to remind ourselves of the definition of an element. An element is defined by its number of protons, so all the atoms of an element have the same number of protons. The number of neutrons, however, can vary. Isotopes are versions of the same element with different numbers of neutrons. These atoms are both lithium atoms, but they have different numbers of neutrons. These are isotopes. This means that isotopes have the same proton numbers, but different nucleon numbers. The first isotope has a nucleon number of 7, while the second isotope has a nucleon number of 6. Both have a proton number of 3, as they are both isotopes of the element lithium. Isotopes are given different names to help distinguish between them. These names are based on their nucleon numbers. This first atom is called lithium-7 because it's an isotope of lithium and it has a nucleon number of 7. The second has a nucleon number of 6 and is therefore lithium-6. You may notice that their electron structures are identical. Isotopes of an element have the exact same chemical properties, which is how they behave in reactions, because the arrangement of their charged particles is identical. Exam questions on isotopes come in a wide variety. Here's one example. Thorium-230 has the nuclide notation 23090th. Calculate the number of neutrons in thorium-232 for two marks. First, let's calculate the number of neutrons in thorium-230. The number of neutrons is the difference between the nucleon number and the proton number. This is 140. Identifying this is the first mark. Next, we'll look at the difference between thorium-230 and thorium-232. There is a mass difference of 2. Thorium-232 must have two more neutrons than thorium-230, as they are the same element and therefore have the same number of protons. This tells us that thorium-232 has 142 neutrons, which is the second and final mark. As is often the case, there are multiple ways to go about this. Let's take a look at another method for the same question. If your first instinct was to find the number of protons in thorium-232, this is the method for you. By spotting that thorium-230 and thorium-232 are isotopes of the same element, we can deduce they have the same number of protons. So thorium-232 has 90 protons as well. That gains the first mark. We know that there are 232 protons and neutrons in the nucleus of thorium-232. So, to find the number of neutrons in thorium-232, subtract 90 from 232, which leaves 142 neutrons. This is the second mark. This video explained that isotopes are different versions of an element which have different numbers of neutrons. We name isotopes by the relative mass of their nuclei, and isotopes of the same element behave almost identically in chemical reactions, thanks to having identical arrangements of charged particles. Don't forget to check out all our other fantastic revision resources at Save My Exams.